Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So my dear friends, the market is open and we can see the market is open like a normal Monday market. There is silence on other US dollar pairs. TXY is also stable. Market is mostly waiting for volume except gold. Goal is crazy. Goal is continuing the bullishness this week as well. Last week, goal closed around 2525, and on Saturday, we discussed about the trading opportunities for this coming week. And as I told you guys, that if you have any ongoing buy, you can be on the buy because goal is still crazy. Goal is still continuing the upside, and we have also seen on the chart as well. And those who are on a sell, I told you guys that try to exit at retracement because nobody knows right now how far gold will be going up. And on Saturday, we also discussed about trading opportunities. If gold comes for retracement and if gold is adamant, gold doesn't come for retracement, how can we go for buy at breakout? So after the market opening, gold came for retracement, but not to our levels. Rather, gold just went up and it went for a breakout. So my dear friend, hope you guys took a buy at breakout and you are in profit right now. Personally, I have exited from all my positions and I'm not planning to take any position right now because the market is extremely um, dangerous right now. Gold is very fragile. Okay, it doesn't matter whether you are a buy or on sale. Okay, because when market is bullish, if you're on a sale, then you are on a dangerous position. But gold has went up so badly without any proper retracement that it is very dangerous for us right now to be on any position because nobody knows where gold will reverse. So to take a sell right now is also risky because if gold goes towards 2700, 2750, okay, then obviously we will lose a big amount of money. And taking a buy right now is also very, very risky. Okay, so what to do then? So if you are on a buy, listen to me carefully. If you are on a positional buy, if you have been holding buy on gold for a long time, then you can be on the buy on gold as long as gold is trading above 2600. Because I have received many emails where people have uh, shown me their position. They are holding buy on gold since 20, uh, 2450, 2430 area. So you can continue with your buy position as long as gold is trading above 2600. If you are on a sell, then yes, you need to exit Okay, uh, by the end of the day if possible. Before the US session, if gold continues the upside, then please try to exit. Because right now, okay. The whole world is waiting for gold to come down. Whole world is praying, gold, please come down, please come down. But there is no sign of retracement in. But obviously at one point, gold will come down. But nobody knows where is the point. That is a problem. Okay. So, and if you are looking for fresh position in the market, then obviously you can look for fresh position, new position at uh, at retracement because buy at breakout is very risky right now so where can we buy at retracement so my dear friend if you're looking for detailed analysis tactical analysis please watch the video i uploaded on saturday we have discussed everything in detail i do not want to repeat the same stuff and bore you again okay so please watch the video from saturday so right now we can see that market is showing little bit uh, uh, signs of price rejection from above so we are just considering this level here and if market shows retracement from here listen to me carefully if market shows retracement uh, retracement from this particular point then we can look for a buy around 2610 area two, it can be 2611 2612 also during the day we can look for a buy around this area and the second buy opportunity on the chart of gold will be around 2599-2600. Why 2599-2600? Because not only because of FIBO 38.2% retracement level, but also it's a round number psychological level. You must be knowing that these round numbers are very special numbers. And along with that, we also have dynamic support around this area. So we can expect that around two after 2610, we should have good support around 2600-2599. Personally, I don't have any position. What will I do? I will also not go for a buy on 2610, no. Okay, I'm done, okay. <laughs> I need some rest. So maybe I'll be looking for a buy on 2599, 2600 if I see gold taking support.
And if you look at the economy calendar, we can see that we have a news coming up during the US session. So yes, market will be for later. So during the US session, uh, please be careful. Market will be okay more crazy then obviously okay levels will not work so try to follow the trend of the market for example if you see that there is a sudden drop in the market then obviously try to be on the sell position if you see that market is continuing the upside you can be on the buy position because when fundamentals dominate technicals do not work big but it may not be a major event um, whose impact will continue for the next few days but at least the market will be volatile for one or two hours so you need to be careful and my dear friends if you look at the econ uh, contracts here then you can see 2650 was our hope that it may be a reversal level but we can see that contracts are reducing at 2650 okay so market may continue upside because the wall is weakening okay the the resistance around 2650 okay is slowly slowly going down okay you can see that we do not have any immediate level right now and moreover the month is also closing so this data um, will not be of much help so let's pray to god <laughs> may god help us with the goal right now okay and if you are still planning to buy then you can be on the buy but follow strict risk management because nobody knows from where gold will reverse already we have looked at the higher time frames already we have we have done all the analysis and we have seen that this market is dangerous to trade right now so whatever you do follow proper risk management because obviously at one point okay your sl will be hit but it should not be a big one that will wipe all your profits for example if you are on a buy right now okay so if you're on a buy or you are going to take a buy obviously you will be enjoying the buy position but when there will be a reversal let's assume that gold reverses from 2680 obviously aapka sl to hit hoga lekin rest of the profits should be uh, intact okay but till then till that till the reversal comes you can be on the buy position because taking a sell right now hoping for a reversal it will be a foolish decision okay let's wait for a reversal but until unless a reversal comes okay let's try to be on the buy position only and for safer uh, entry you can be on the buy at retracement you can see i have also marked 2625 area uh, because the previous resistance may work as support but i am not sure whether it will work or not but yes 2610 should uh, 2610 2611 should provide support to the market in this market condition okay let's wait and watch okay <laughs> nothing much to discuss right now uh, because market is overbought on all the time frames okay um Time will speak because we have also looked at the fundamentals on Saturday that right now geopolitics is also uh, playing a big role because for the last couple of months when gold was bullish gold was running up okay it was the interest rate decision that was um, helping gold to fly but right now uh, the geopolitics has also joined the scene so uh, stay in touch with the news also any news any news uh, from the Middle East will again uh, push towards the upside if that happens then obviously forget about retracement and try to be in the buy only okay follow proper risk management bye bye take care good luck